guys let's see the question number 15 well the question is a train start from rest so basically we have the initial velocity as a given as the initial velocity as a zero right okay initial velocity as zero move with the constant acceleration so we have this constant acceleration with us for half minute so time will be 30 second okay the brakes are then applied and the train comes to rest in one minute so basically the time whatever it is given when brakes are applied it comes to rates that is nothing but the 60 seconds so we'll see it here okay let's write it i've already write it clearly i'll just explain you one by one so first of all i need to find the total distance moved by the train so well we have the initial velocity we have the time with us acceleration we don't have the velocity the final velocity so what i'll do i'll just find the final velocity v is equal to u plus 80 initial velocity as a zero whatever the initial velocity what about the acceleration acceleration is a two and then we have this time so initially the time was 30 second okay so we'll have this value as a 60 meter per second which is quite easy now we have to find the total distance moved by the train after the brake applied when the velocity reaches maximum velocity so guys just try to understand this is a very easy concept very important like when the brakes are applied the f when the brakes are applied at that time we have some other initial velocity that initial velocity like see uh, a train is there okay train is there so just moving okay so when the brakes are applied at that time and we have to find the distance during the final velocity will become zero because it will come straight right so we have to find distance during this interval so whatever the final velocity earlier the final velocity this will become now the initial velocity for this this will become the initial velocity for this right and this will be the final velocity so well when the brakes are applied here the initial velocity will become the final velocity of the earlier one which is 60 meter per second and final velocity will become zero because brakes are applied finally it will come to rest and it takes how much time 60 second so what obviously there will be deceleration will be there so we use the same formula v is equal to u minus 80 and we have to find the deceleration a so for a we'll have this a as a v minus u by t you can do it by your own just put the value final velocity is 0 initial velocity is 60 and time is 60 so our deceleration is a minus of 1 meter per second then we have to find the distance right we'll use this formula v square is equal to u square minus 2s why minus because deceleration is there we have to find this s displacement so we'll find this displacement that is quite easy so overall the total distance travel will be earlier one that was the s1 plus s2 so guys we have this s2 with us which is 1800 meter per second after the brakes are applied and the earlier one when the initial velocity was like given 900 meter right i hope this is clear to you how did we get that like why i get like less is equal to u2 plus half it is square initial velocity is zero earlier with having some acceleration which is two meter per second it was moving with having a two meter per second so overall total distance travel will be this distance this distance that initially that was moving and after the uh, brakes are applied this distance so overall distance will be now this plus this that is 2.7 kilometer now the next is find the maximum speed attained by the train obviously the maximum speed attained is we have already find that the final velocity 60 meter per second and thereafter we apply the brakes so obviously the velocity will be decreasing start decreasing right then the position of the train at the half of the maximum speed guys so when the speed is half so the half of the maximum is 60 upon 2 will give you 30 let's talk about the distance v square minus u square upon 2a so the final velocity is half it means 30 initially it was in rest so 2 into acceleration acceleration were there the, this is the starting point this is the starting point okay when it is so the distance travel is 900 meter we know that we will just find it when it accelerate the distance is 900 meter and then again it decelerate to a 10 of 30 meter per second earlier the speed was 60 meter and if it attained a 30 meter per second it means start decelerating so the initial velocity is 60 and the final velocity this time is 30 because this time the final velocity is decelerating not up to 0 it's up to 30 and the initial velocity will be considered as a maximum velocity that is the 60 right and then after because the it's a half means it's decreasing the value decreasing 
means this will be considered as an uh, initial value this will be as a final velocity so distance will be using the same formula v square minus a square upon 2a i hope this is clear to you so overall position travel will be the initial acceleration and after acceleration the speed is up to 60 meter then it decelerated to 230 meter per second so then after it travel this much so overall addition of this two will give you the overall distance travel i hope this is clear to you guys thank you for watching this video if you have any query please comment me on the given comment below box thank you